So life with Highlands now is spectacular. Um, I can get that message on Sunday and I really do feel energized for the week. I feel ready. You know, Christ didn't make it to where we go through life alone. You know, he, of course he had, we have Christ, but we also have, you know, that's why the church is here to help others. And there's a bunch of people here at the church that, that are willing to help. It just makes you realize that God's there. He's not gonna leave you. He's not gonna abandon you. When you need him at your darkest hour, he's there. Being here at Highlands, I learned that Christ gave me the gift of people and the gift of a community here. It's been a long road to get here. And my journey's still not done, I'm still, but I'm finally feeling loved and wanted and like I have a purpose and place in this world. Looking back now, I can definitely see that God was in every single decision, every single movement there was. And that movement didn't just start when Chris got sick. It happened even before then. There's a, there's a light at the end of that tunnel and God's at the end of that tunnel waiting on you with arms wide open. The only thing that I knew was that there was this baby and he needed a home. And I knew that God would work out everything else. He would work out my financial uh, responsibilities. He would help with that. He would help with um, putting people in our lives that cared for us and prayed with us and was there to support us through all this. I found my place at Highlands um, because I've been able to um, be a part of a community that um, cares about the community around it, cares about its people, um, and it's a place I can serve. It was a really just beautiful experience to be able to to see someone, you know, give their life, give their life over to God, to get to witness that, to see it firsthand and know in your home. Um, what God can do to get to see it, it is amazing. Honestly, when, when I'm at church, I'm probably happier than I am anywhere else. Um, serving and helping people. I just feel really blessed to know Him like I do now. I can't imagine continuing down the path that I was on. I can't imagine where we would be now if I didn't know Jesus like I do now with addiction, with failures, with habits, with hangups, whatever it may be, you've ne you're not so far gone that God can't bring you back. God will surround you with who you need in your life to help you. You just have to remember to hold on to that faith.